Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts.
We lift up your magnificent name this evening. You open up our eyes each morning to the beauty of the sunrise, to the wonders of this earth you have created. From the birds in the air to the inhabitants of the sea, we can marvel at the works of your hands. We celebrate the blessings that you bring to us each day and the knowledge that we have that your love knows no bounds. Through you and the sacrifice of your son, we have become new creations. You love us dearly and have given us a chance to come back to you. You are our banner and our shield, our strength and our protection. And merciful God, we bring our confessions before your altar tonight, asking for you to shower your mercy upon us. We confess that we have not always abided in you as our one true vine that we have often leaned on our own understanding and will. We confess, Lord, that we have often put our secular and earthly lives on a pedestal, making them our priority and treating you and your work as a second option. We confess that we have always let your light shine through us, whether in our thoughts, in our words, or in our deeds. We confess that often we have hidden that light under a bushel basket and have chosen inaction over carrying out your will. We know you are a loving and forgiving God and we stretch out our hands to you, ask you to wash us of all our sins. We have the assurance that you continue to say to us, come my son, come my daughter, abide with me. Lord, we want to draw near to you as you continue to draw near to us. You are the source and giver of all good things. All power and goodness on this earth comes only from you. We thank you for life, for good health, and the strength you give us daily to do all that we have to do. You found it bad for man to be alone, and so we thank you for our family, friends, and even strangers whom we interact with on a daily basis. Through them, you bless and uplift us each day. For the enrichment of our souls, we are truly grateful. You are our peace, calming our spirits as we navigate through our noisy and often chaotic world. All these things we pray. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Amen. Our Father, which art in Blessed evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. This evening, I want us to focus on the scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9, and chapter 4, verse 1. For we are God's servants, working together. You are God's field, God's building. Think of us in this way, as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. As we dive into these scriptures, I want to start with a short poem, a psychoanalytic conversation between a man and himself. Are you a slave or a free man? I am a free man. Then command yourself to turn inside out. I can't. Then command yourself to rise above the stars. I can't. Then command yourself to die. I can't. Then how are you a free man? I can think for myself. But you cannot do as you think. I can think of blinking and do as I think. But you cannot think of dying and do as you think. So I am a slave. Are you a slave or a free man? I am a slave. A slave to what? My humanity. A slave to who? No one. I have no master. 
so you came into being because of your own doing my mother gave birth to me so your mother is your master but she is dead so how can she be my master then who is your master my humanity humanity has an end so how can it be your master society society has an end so how can it be your master the world the world has an end so how can it be your master god god has no end god is your master from this conversation the question of what does it mean to be a slave to god arises to many of us our thoughts of slavery are negative and evil and rationally so as our experience of slavery throughout history has been one of pain and inhumane treatment but rationally only until we realize the fact that our nature of slavery is neither negative nor positive a slave is defined as a person who is owned by another or completely subservient to a dominant influence there is no doubt or confusion as to who our dominant influence as christians is our creator and heavenly father god as his creations formed with his hands and his life breathed into us we are owned and claimed by him and him alone our souls are made whole through his love our minds and thoughts are guided by his holy spirit and through the death and resurrection of christ his son we have overcome the physical and conquered sin and death mind body and soul we belong to god but the animals are his creation so too the sun and the moon are we slaves to god as they are no for in genesis 1:28 to 30 he blessed humankind and gave his dominion over every living thing which inhabits the earth every plant every animal and other organisms in the sea land and sky he gave that power and dominion to us he made us his stewards to his earth and all that is in it the word steward refers to the slave who was made the manager or guardian of the household they would not be in the plantation field but rather in the great house managing and ensuring that everything ran in accordance to the master's will and liking a slave with some kind of power seems very ironic a sort of oxymoron so we know who our master is god and we know what the great house is the earth now we must discover what our master's will and liking is the clue comes from the story of creation and the line that repeats itself after each day and god saw that it was good as obvious as it may seem we often find ourselves doing things in the name of arrogance pride and greed we know that lying and sowing seeds of dishonesty is bad but when it'll lead to our benefit greed often takes over We know that when dealing with our children or persons less knowledgeable than us it would be better to be soft spoken and understanding but when our patience grows thin and pride and arrogance takes over unfortunately we are not doing the will of our father after god made us genesis chapter 1 verse 31 tells us that god saw that everything he had made was indeed very good and so we are urged with the words of Paul in 1 Corinthians to remember that we are first and foremost God's servants working together for his will that we are slaves that we are servants that we are the good stewards of God we are also urged by the words of John Wesley to do all the good we can by all the means we can in all the ways we can in all the places we can at all the times we can to all the people we can 
and as long as ever we can. Why? Because God, our master, our great heavenly father, has declared for us to be good. Where there is good, there is always evil lurking in the shadows, waiting for an opportunity to steal, kill, and destroy. And from the second chapter in the Bible, the devil has been trying to take over this earth, God's good earth. Let us keep doing our duty as good stewards to our master and father. And with the power and dominion he has given to us, rid this great house, his earth, our home, of all evil that tries to destroy it. We are servants of our master, and he has given us the power we need to carry out this duty. So brothers and sisters, I urge you, as we go through this missionary season and reflect on our purpose as a people, as Christians, banded together to form Christ's army, his hands and feet here on this earth, I urge us to continue to remember our mission to ensure that all we are being given stewardship over is good and in accordance with our God. Amen. of your portions I know I won't forget all he's done he's a strength in the race that I run every time I look up I see God's faithfulness and it shows just how much he is miraculous I can't keep this to myself I can't sit here and be still all the people I will tell till the whole world is Brothers and sisters, may the Lord bless you with the humility and courage of John the Baptist, who faithfully prepared the way for the Lord.
As John bore witness to the light, may you also shine as a beacon of hope and truth in a world in need of God's grace. May you find strength and purpose in your divine calling, proclaiming the message of repentance and salvation. Go forth in the assurance that the Spirit of God is with you, guiding you and empowering you to fulfill his will. Go in peace and may the God of peace go with you now and forevermore. And the people of God say, Amen. Blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Thank you for being a part of our daily devotion. We trust it has been a blessing to you. Now together, let us hold fast to his word and may it dwell in all of us richly.